I can tell you completions during spring. This looks like maybe higher. Like he had a, he had a game today, Taylor. In the first half. I, I think he had a really good day. Um, thought we caught the ball really well. You know, the group of guys that he was playing with. I think they made some. He made some great throws. We also made some really good catches. You know, out there. But uh, it was good to have Tyrone back and good to have Armstrong back and. You know, those guys make us better, and obviously both of them had some injuries, family situations, but uh, it was really good to have them back. And I thought Taylor, you know, and some of those runs too possibly could have been a lot further. Um, but I thought he I thought he showed um, – I showed, thought he showed a lot of poise today and, and uh, obviously that he's a, a great leader and the kids playing around him believe in him. Y'all having breakfast for dinner or is breakfast another day, tomorrow, whatever? No, we're having it. It's on Monday, and uh, I won. So, you know, I'm, get, I'm getting the works. Quindon, what would you think about Duke Quindon's uh, day-to-day? Ran hard. You know, uh, two or three of his good runs I missed as I was talking to um, the television folks. I uh, heard, heard the crowd. I know he ran – Got a, what did he run? Was it on stretch play to get outside on the one down the north end zone on on the uh, visitor side? Um, but but uh, he's had a really good spring. Um, he's a guy that's probably uh, even better when when it's alive. You know, he looks better because he bounces off people. Um, he uses stiff arm a little bit more. He's got a violent stiff arm. Um, but he always seemed to be moving forward, and when he gets hit hard, he grins and gets up, and he's just a tough kid. Um, but it was a really good get out of the portal. He's a really good get and brings a lot to the team as well uh, off the field. Yeah, 15 yard touchdown catch and run. Uh, he, I don't think he was utilized a whole lot in the passing game in his career in the past. Do you think that's something he could be used a lot as? I think, Trey, as you know from the past, even that. Um, we're going to get the running backs involved throwing to them. You know, uh, screen game is a big deal uh, in uh, our offense and Coach Petrino's uh, play calling. Um, uh, we've had success in practice some with that, especially getting it into a blitz, a cat, something of that like that. But uh, he's got really good hands, and I look for our backs to be uh, utilized big time in, in, the, in the receiving uh, game. What were your overall thoughts of the first team offensive line today? Well, they protected well. Um, uh, we we ran the ball well. Uh, we should. Um, let's put it like that. But, you know, you compete against your opponent or yourself, you know, and I think that group is a group that competes against themselves. They want to be good as a collective group. Um, but I thought we we ran the ball well, and and uh, certainly Taylor had. I think there was two sacks with his group. One was uh, a cat that he didn't see uh, uh, on a on a empty protection, and one of them was uh, we got beat at the running back position. But it wasn't um, on the offensive line. You know, I've coached O line forever. Everything negative goes on the offensive line, but. That's not really what happened. Uh, so I think Eric's done a great job with those guys, but you have to give their, them credit because, you know, getting Junior Carmona in here and Black, uh, Blackstock and, and Nichols, they have a different way about them. Braun now has, has, has moved up as a leader more, and he feels like he has the opportunity. So um, obviously moving Kudis inside was a good decision as well. So I uh, like the cohesiveness of the group. I think they played well injuries and stuff at receiver, but it seems like outside of the first team guys, C.J. Brown gets almost all the receptions. What have you thought of him? That was so neat to see. You know, obviously, he's from Benville, you know, and and uh, but it was really neat to see his speed uh, when he caught the ball down down the home, home sideline going south. Um, he's really well coached out of high school, but, you know, if you know his family, he's coming from a mature, um, uh, respected, respectful family. 
Uh, so he came in here probably older than his age. You mentioned Broden being back. Was he back yesterday for the walkthrough or was today his first day back? Broden has been back. Uh, he was there yesterday for the walkthrough and, and, uh, and then today and he wanted to play and he got reasons why, you know, for, for some people in his family that he wanted to play for. And I thought it was really cool that he went out and had a good day. What's it say? That, I mean, he missed a week, but it didn't yeah. seem like he skipped a beat at all. He had a really good day today. What's it say about him that he was able to do that? I think between Ronnie Broden and Bobby, I think they have really, they have all gotten confidence built in to Tyrone. He's always been very, very, athletic but i don't know if he's always thought that he was a great receiver uh i think some of the catches he made today proves that uh we need him a lot of people would want him um but i it, it says a lot about his maturity of course he's an older kid but i think he had a reason and a purpose to go out there today and play well did anybody in particular on defense maybe flash to you uh, today? I know you got to watch the film. Yeah, but. J Landon Jackson was around a lot, I felt like, uh, today. Uh, Cam Ball uh, has been that way throughout the spring. The linebackers uh, were making plays. You know, they can run. And that's that's some, you know, Sori's really fast. I, I saw Dean make some very physical tackles today. And then with the one – one defense, I think you have to mention Jaden Johnson because he was very physical in position. You know, the one thing about it is, guys, I think we had four, maybe four penalties on the day or close to that. And I don't believe we, you know, when we were playing reds and whites, you know, the, the ones and twos, we were very, very minimal in penalties. And as we all know, I've been here for – uh, five years going on five years now, and then at the beginning of the year, it's hard. But our officiating at practice has been better, I think. So, uh, I was proud of that as well. Portal season opening up next week. What's some of the priorities for you with the remaining scholarships you have? Now, that's a really good question because I want to say this first. Um, number one, Portal, we don't want to lose any of our players. And I had a talk with our team, and I said, hey, if we just don't lose anybody that we have and don't add anybody, we're going to have us a fine football team. So the number one thing is I don't want to lose anybody we have. Inevitably, we're going to. I mean, hope not, but we could. I don't know why you'd want to leave this team. It's a good football team. But I understand the, the landscape of football. Once that happens, um, we would – if we don't lose anybody, we have five scholarships available. We need to get some more help on the D-line. We need to get some more help on the offensive line. And we need to get maybe a, another wide receiver. Um, if we just had five, instead of going to wide out, we would go to linebacker. We need an older linebacker. Now, when saying that, and I'm answering your question because it's a good, fair question. I'm not saying we need that because we don't have players at those positions because I think we all believe that we do. It's just a matter of age, depth, all those things that go into that. The quarterback position, is that probably going to go into the fall? It is. It is. And – and as a matter of fact, it was a very difficult decision even who to run out there today because I think you got – you know, the beauty of it when I'm asking you questions and and I know that uh, you guys have been at every practice, you know, when you ask me a question, to me it, it gives you a chance to be more educated on your questions as well. And then you know when I give you an answer that it's – I'm telling you what I see and most of the time it's what we agree on. With the, the number two quarterback position, it could be, in my opinion, it could be any of the three that are running to. Bobby played all three of those second team guys in the first half. Uh, but I think it's wide open in there. Obviously, Taylor Green is, is uh, you know, our, our quarterback. Uh, 
But after that, I think it's a very wide open race. And, and I'm not saying any of them can't go get Taylor. I'm not saying that, but um, I believe he'll work hard to keep his position. But between the four of them, I think we still have to wait and see on two, three, and four. Same with the field goals today, you know, some misses, some hits. Mm -hmm. What what'd you think of those guys today and maybe their spring overall? Well, we have to be more consistent. I mean, uh, um, we haven't performed well in the stadium. We have performed well uh, in the indoor or on the practice field. Uh, this week was our best week we've had kicking field goals up to today. And uh, it's somehow we've got to figure out how to make put them through those two yellow poles inside the stadium because they're doing it at practice better than they did earlier in the year. Uh, so those kids are good hard workers. They have the capabilities. Uh, I haven't lost any uh, trust or uh, any thing like that in them because I've seen them do it many a time. We've got to continue to get them in here and make sure they can make them inside the stadium because that's where it's going to count, you know. You got the UAPB game move. Uh, change the other day. That's obviously going to give you extra time for, for Oklahoma State. Just wondering what your thoughts are on that move overall, play, playing on the Thursday, going into Labor Day weekend. Well, you look at a few things when you go to Little Rock. And number one, you really don't want to take away from, you know, great football over there. So you don't want to take away from the Friday nights, you know. But you go you, you go over there and you look at Little, Little Rock. And the first thing is if you play in September, then what time do you want to play the game? So everybody at Little Rock and probably everybody ever wants to play the game at night because it's so dang hot, right? Well, if you play at night, then we have a home game that we get home at 3 o'clock in the morning. It's always early in the year, and we've got a six- or seven-game road stretch before our bye week, right? Now, this year is different because we have six, a bye six, and, you know, and then another bye. So this year's a little bit different. But – to me, playing on Thursday gives you a lot of reasons to play on Thursday night. Number one, it's a night game. So the folks will be able to tailgate and, and it won't be as hot. It won't be as hot on our guys. Um, and you gain two days on your next opponent. And I believe that uh, that was the best decision and really the only decision we could make other than saying – we're going to go over there and play at night on the, our first game. And and I, that just didn't give us any type of advantage at all. And I think, I believe we'll we'll get people come out and see us on a Thursday night over there. You mentioned potentially adding a receiver out of the portal, but, you you know, you've chosen to bring all the receivers, most of the receivers back from last year. Like, I'm wondering, like them getting comfortable and going through the SEC last year, has that – help their growth at all, like Broden and Armstrong? I think it has everything to do with it. I do. Again, good thought. Uh, you know, I think we all think Andrew Armstrong is a lot better than he was last year right now, and Broden is the same way. Heck, Satania is that way. So I think getting familiar with offense and all that, but it's also about the uh, maturity process of being a college student and understanding the difference in whatever ball – you came from to SEC football and how different programs run their programs. So, uh, yeah, is it difficult to come in and be your top probably your first year? Probably. Um, but at the same time, and again, I, th I feel really good about our wide receiver position, uh, but you need to be nine deep. And uh, are we? I, I don't know uh, if there's somebody available that we think can help us win games and then we would look at them. Sam, we had Brad Spence with three TFLs today. Just what were your impressions of him and then his spring as a whole? Does that give you added confidence in him going into it the does. summer? Um, Brad last year made some plays, didn't make some plays. He, he was a freshman. Uh, he's going to continue to make more plays and not make some. Uh, we're all human. But I think his growth uh, this spring has been uh, quite a bit. And uh, he's earned where he started today, I believe, and 
And I also I like Dean and Sanford behind him or around that spot too. I think Sori's certainly um, a really good player, uh, but Spence specifically there is his his knowledge of what he's supposed to be doing has really improved. Therefore, he's able to play and use his God given ability. Think you got through the spring without any major major injuries. Um, yeah, I, how's that feeling? What was Dozier's the other day? Yeah, that that's what I was going to go to, Tom. Uh, we did. Um, let's say this: like when you go through spring, you tackle five times. You know that's what we did. Third of the practices, um, and you end up with nobody going to miss um, any time when we start two days uh, because of spring ball. I think you're very, very fortunate. Uh, Zuri was different because, you know, he was on a scooter. But uh, Davion Dozier uh, broke his wrist uh, on that play. Uh, he was reaching out for the ball, and the other one, he just planted his wrist. So, uh, But other than that, I think everybody will be back by – uh, the time we get back in June for late May, early June for uh, our eight-week uh, lifting program, conditioning lifting program. And then just putting the bow on spring, you know. Got better and, like, feel better on both sides of the ball. That's, but... I like the team, Tom. I like I like this. I like that part of it, you know. Uh, I like the team that they like each other. Um. We have a better football team. I, where we go, I think we're going to go up because the kids in in the room want to and they're talented enough to do it. But where we were in November to where we are now, there's a lot of change, and it's been positive. And so I'm really – I'm happy where we are now. we got a long way to go, but we got the right people in the building, whether it be coaches or players, that that can get there. Sam, I understand you had about 450 Letterman back, and I saw on social media, I think you it looked like you and the staff talked to him. I just wonder, what, what was that like seeing all those guys, and what was your Letterman. what was your message to them? Am I wrong about that? Or? No, 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 I didn't hear the Letterman. So, yeah, I just wonder what your message was to them, just what that was like seeing all those Well, guys. that was awesome. You know, Darren McFadden was back, and, and you know, Arkansas has a, a, a rich uh, tradition. I was talking to one man, and he was talking about, well, I went to the Cotton Bowl, and I went to the some other bowl, and I went to Blue Bonnet Bowl or something in four years, and and uh, you know to be in the presence of those guys. But I I just thanked them. Um, you know, I think we all want to uh, live in the past. Uh, those guys were very very positive about what we can do next year. Um, and I think that goes um, to say that 450 people in there, I thought it was the biggest group that we've had. And so it goes to say that they're, I felt like the, the group is behind us still and they believe in us. And, and uh, I just thanked them for all that. I think a lot of them uh, were back for obviously the spring game and then for today's uh, uh, going home, yeah, celebration, and I think some of them guys came back for Dane and and uh, but it's just humbling to be in front of those guys that have so much love for the Razorbacks and they're so kind uh, to me and it's humbling and I just thanked them for that and thanked them for uh, believing in what we're doing and I was appreciative of that. I appreciate you. All right, guys.